So holding on to your faith in the 21st century has become impossible. And there was a hadith that was described as holding on to your faith in the future will be like holding on to hot coal. And think about that, holding a piece of coal in your hand that's burning hot, you just wanna let go. And that is how society is nowadays. Nowadays, we're holding on to our faith by a thin, thin needle. Everything around us is tempting us to do the haram. It's tempting us to do the wrong thing. There's so much fitna, there's so much temptation in the world around us. And it's so hard to do the right thing. And living in a Western country, the, one of the easiest examples of this is eating halal food. Halal food isn't as widespread in all the restaurants around here. So if you want to go out to eat, you have to find a halal restaurant. Say you live in a more rural environment where there isn't as many Muslims around you. Where, how do you even get halal food? Do you just go vegetarian until you find it? And again, this becomes harder and harder. And Nowadays, it's people just don't have their own two sheep, own two goats, and their own cows to slaughter and kill and drink their milk that way, right? We have to go out of our way to find that. If every supermarket doesn't have halal food. So again, it's harder and harder to be a practicing and really faithful Muslim. And it becomes harder. It's like holding on to that hot coal. You got to go through that pain. You got to make sure you stay steadfast. You grind through it. Another example of this is when you look at people who are asking the question of, hey, like, why do you have a girlfriend? Are you dating? Oh, you're not dating anyone? Why aren't you dating anyone? They're like, oh, because, you know, I'm like waiting for marriage. You want to marry someone. You're not just dating someone. Oh, like, how do you how do you know if you want to marry them if you don't date them for two, three years and move in with them and live with them for two years? And then you should have thinking, like, uh... Like, you don't even know how to answer the question to them sometimes because you're sitting there thinking like, oh, well, how do I explain that? It's like religiously, culture, you go meet her parents, you go speak to them, you talk to her in front, in public, et cetera, et cetera, and go down that rabbit hole. But it's like in our society here in the West, it becomes harder and harder to do that. So again, holding on to that hot coal. And within the 21st century, again, it's more secular. We're not holding on to religious values and beliefs. It's more, again, secular. So doing so allows for the society to push the culture rather than the religious beliefs and values. And with globalization and social media and technology, we're exposed to so many different cultures, so many ideals, values, morals, guidelines. And it becomes this group think of what's popular, what's the most popular thing. And the most popular thing is to drink, go to concerts, dance, party, etc., etc. Not worship, pray, stay at home and do the righteous things, right? What's glamorized in all the movies. It's not, that's not what's glamorized. What's glamorized is going out, the partying, et cetera, et cetera. They'll go and live in that college lifestyle. And when you go off to college and you're feeling, wait, like what's the next step I need to take? The whole world culture is mending into one. This globalization of what group think is happening around the world is happening everywhere, right? No matter if you're in the West or the East, no matter where it is, a lot of the same sorts of jokes, memes, culture, things, and pop culture is happening in all these different countries. Everyone knows what Netflix is around the world. People use the same sort of apps. Different cultures are being experienced around the world through the phones. And a phone has become a culture. The internet culture is a culture. And everyone's on the internet. So that's becoming this big, giant group think. It's pushing this globalization. And the things you see on the internet tend not to be the best kinds of content. Another thing is the social and cultural changes. So for example, when you look at the phone and technology, everything is hypersexualized, right? Everything is so sexualized, all the content. And even if you're talking society and culture, being more modest as a man and woman is becoming harder and harder. A good example of this is a video I saw from Wolverhampton, England back in like the 50s. And the women are watching what was being sold in these stores. And they're like, oh, no girl with any bit of class would wear this. And she was basically saying this and she was like, oh my God, like this is insane. Or maybe the London girls would wear this, right? And when she's saying London girls, she's saying the girls that be in the club. And now what they were showing is stuff that any girl nowadays in the West would wear. So it's crazy to think like only in what, 50, 80 years, people's mindsets have shifted so much. The cultural agenda, the societal agenda has shifted. So again, holding on to your faith, your morals, your religious values is going to become harder and harder and harder. Also, nowadays, everyone lives in this hyper individualistic society where all anyone cares about is themselves. There's less focus on family. There's less focus on having children, growing together, committing to one another. And we're getting into this society in where it's not pushed as much. What's pushed more is, oh, go get that bag. Go worry about your career. Only worry about this. Worry about yourself. But again, that's unhealthy. That's not a good thing. We shouldn't only focus on that. We should focus on the collective whole of who we are as people, how we're going to benefit one another. But again, that's those religious and cultural values that are starting to go away. With this amazing access of information that we have to our disposal, we have the ability to learn so much. But when you learn so much, you don't know whether or not this is good things you're learning that's going to better you or bad things that you're learning. You're just learning. You're taking it all in. 
But nowadays, the content that gets pushed out to most people isn't going to be the best content. It's going to be what's popular. What's popular is going to be materialism. What's popular is going to be being wealthy, spending it on Porsches, Bugattis. Oh, you fly private. Oh, you do this. Oh, you do that. What's And even when people promote in positivity, they're monetizing the positivity that they're doing. So again, the culture is becoming harder and harder to be authentic. And it's making it harder and harder to hold on to your values, your morals, your faith. And honestly, even nowadays, sometimes people think like, oh, like you pray five times a day. Like, man, bro, you're so religious. Like, and I'm thinking in my head growing up like this, isn't that all that religious? It's not that much of my time to spend praying. But then I look at all these gurus sometimes that talk about, I wake up every morning and I meditate and I do all these things to better myself. And I'm like, oh, really? You wake up every day to meditate and pray, but you're saying like, this person's too religious for you? Come on. Like, it doesn't make any sense because it's, again, this hyper intellectual society where they're meditating to what? To themselves, that they are their own God. They are in control of everything they do. Only they matter, right? No one else matters. But again, it's such a weird thing because then you explain that. It's like, oh, but you're too religious. Just because I pray five times a day? Hmm. Interesting. So again, hold on to that hot coal. So all in all, just make sure that you do hold on to that faith, no matter how much it might hurt sometimes, no matter how much temptation that arises and comes to your life. And if you click on this video, you do care enough about this. You care enough about holding on to your faith, being the best version of yourself that you can be. And again, whether it be Muslim, Christian, Jewish, any other religion that there is out there that you believe in, make sure that you're following that thing. And a friend of mine that's Sikhi once told me, he said, whatever you be, be a good one. So it doesn't matter if you're any other religion or any other values or beliefs, just make sure you're following it. Because at the end of the day, if you do follow some sort of religion, some morals, some guidelines, you're going to be a better person and you're going to actually add value to the world. So thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next Friday for another one of these videos. And tell me what you thought about this video and be sure to like, follow, share, and subscribe. Because again, it boosts the algorithm, allows my content to get posted on the main page. This is a good thing because we're here talking about good things together. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks again.